question number 4 the marks in a test for a group of students are as follow find the mean marks of these students here the marks is given and the number of student is given now here you can see the marks when it is given in such information that is a continuous group continuous group data for continuous here again we have the direct method and even the shortcut method Continuous may be frequency diya hai. So here we are going to first find out mid value and then we will multiply with the frequency that I will show you with the calculation. So first of all let's take the information in the book. Now here the marks number of students out of which here you can see it is a class of 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. I see information ko hum kya bolenge? Continuous frequency distribution. And here we have the frequency as well. So first of all let's take the total of frequency that is n is equal to 56. And you remember what is the formula of direct matter that is mean is equal to sigma fx upon n. So for such information we need frequency multiplied by x but here you can see the class is given. 0 to 10, 10 to 24. Out of this, first find out the mid value. Jab aise information diya hai, aapko pehle mid value find out karna hai, which will be denoted as a x. And uh, hope you remember how to find out mid value. Just to add the class and divide by 2. 0 plus 10 divide by 2. 10 divide by 2, it would be 5. Same way that you can do in your calculator. 10 plus 20, it would be 30. 30 divided by 2, the mid value you will get 15. 20 plus 30, 50. 5, 0, 50. Divide by 2, you will get the mid value 25. In the same way, we will go continue with this. This thing what I shown you, you can do it in your calculator. Because class length is equal, we can go directly like this. The next we need is fx. That is the multiplication of this two column and at the end we will get the total of this column which will denote as a sigma fx. So here we will multiply 3 fives are 15, 5 into 15 that is 75, 12 into 25 300, 16 into 35 560, 11 into 45 495, 5 into 55, 275, 4 into 65, here we get 260. And the total of this column is 1980. Now just take into the formula that is 1980 and total of frequency which is denoted as N that is 56. Out of this calculation we will get the answer 35.5. 3, 5, 7, 1. This is what the answer will be. Here we will take it only the 2 digit after point that is 5. Here we can see 3, 5 and the next number is 7 which is more than 5. So here the number is 1 digit. That is 3, 6. This is how you have to go with. If it is more than 5, then the number is 1 number is 1 digit. So here the number is 1 number is 1 digit. So here I shown you the direct matter. Here I will show you how it will go with the shortcut matter. Now for the shortcut matter, I just took from the question the marks and the frequency which was given in the question. And out of this, first of all, we have to find out the mid value as same as a direct matter. After find, finding mid value which is denote as a x. As per the formula, a plus sigma fd upon n into c. So here we have the D which is going to find out here D is equal to X minus assume mean. The same as what we have done before but that was discrete information was given in the question. And here right now we have the continuous class. When we have the continuous class that time you have to keep C at the down. C is nothing just a class length of the class. यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो यहाँ पे कितने का distance है 10 का distance है सारे class में so the c will be 
10 and A is your assume me. X के column में से as usual आपको कोई भी number को assume करना है. Any number you can choose. Out of any number your answer will be correct for sure. But as I prefer to take the less value I am going to take 5. If you find out in your exercise or in your school you will find some other number. But here I am going to take 5 just to avoid to get a minus answer. So the calculation will go like x minus assume means matlab 5 pehle x le lo that is 5 the x column may say 5 minus the assume mean i assume here as a 5 which would be divided by 10 5 minus 5 obviously 0 0 divided by 10 0 so the answer will be 0 next for the x take 15 Minus assume mean which I assume as a 5 divide by 10. 15 minus 5, 10, 10, 10 divide by 10. Here we'll get the answer 1. Again for the x, we'll take 25. The calculation which I'm showing you with the pencil that you can do in your calculator. This is just for the explanation. 25 x minus a that is assume mean over here is 5 divide by 10 the class length 25 minus 5 of 20 and 20 divide by 10 you will get 2 next x is 35 minus assume which I assume here 5 divide by the class length 10 35 minus 5 30 divide by 10 you will get the answer 3 in the same way, go with the remaining, that is 45, 55 and 65. You will get the answer 4, 5 and 6. Don't take the total of D. You just need the total of frequency and the total of FD column to find out sigma FD. Now for this, here as in the information only you can see, formula mein kya manga hai? Sigma FD. So, FD ke column ke liye hum mein multiply karne, karna padega frequency and the D. These two columns have to get multiplied. 3 zeros are 0, 5 ones are 5, 12 twos are 24, 16 threes are 48, 11 fours are 44, 5 fives are 25 and 4 six are 24. And the total of FD column which will be a sigma FD that is 170. Now let's keep all the information in formula. Assume mean here I assume 5 plus sigma FD that is the total of this column is 170. And that is the total of frequency that is 56 into C that is the class length of the class that is 10 again I am explaining you first just calculate this much portion at the end after the calculation add with 5 the 5 will remain as it is till the end so here the uh, division of this the calculation of this 170 divided by 56 into 10 you will get the answer something like 30.35357 after the digit point we only need the two digit अगर पीछे वाला नंबर 5 से ज्यादा है तो ये एक नंबर आगे बढ़ जाएगा तो इट वुड बी 5 30.36 एड देम यू विल गेट 35.36 सो एट द एंड व्हिच एवर मेथड यू यूज अ डायरेक्ट मेथड और शॉर्टकट मेथड योर आंसर विल बी सेम सेम ओवर हियर एनी नंबर यू अज्यूम आउट ऑफ एक्स इवन हियर इफ यू गिव द करेक्ट कैलकुलेशन यू विल गेट द करेक्ट आंसर so moving to the next question. Question number 5. The following information is available on the talk time in min minutes noted for 70 call of a certain mobile phone user. Find the mean talk time. As you can see in the question, the information which is given is the less than cumulative frequency. That is 4, 8, 12 and here even the number is keep on increasing. For this information, first take the question in table. And over here, remember half the information is going 4, 8. So first calculation will be 0 to 4. 
next is 4 to 8, 8 to 12, 12 to 16 and 16 to 20. This is how you have to show the class. And about the frequency as you can see it is a less than information. So, yaan pe sari frequency increasing order mein hai. So, here what you have to do is 20. That is 0 minus 20, 20 minus 42, 42 minus 57, 57 minus 65 and 65 minus 70 will be your frequency. This is how you have to go. That is 20, first one, then 20 minus 42, 22 and this is how after this calculation only you will get the correct frequency. Don't start directly with the question. First see the information, what kind of information is given, then only you can start. What we have done before, see how the information was and this is completely different. Frequency ke naam pe sare increasing value di hai. So, jab increasing value ho, to be sure that there is a calculation, then only go further for the question. So, after finding the correct class and with the correct frequency, here first thing what we find out is the mid value. That is 0 plus 4 divided by 2, you will get 2. 4 plus 8 that is 12 divided by 2 you will get the answer 6 continue with the remaining go with the do the calculation in your calculator 14 and 18 so after finding mid value here we will multiply f and x to find out the correct fx as here I am showing you the direct method with the mean that is sigma fx upon n so the total of this column will be a sigma fx. First let us multiply this two column 20 into 2 40, 22 into 6 132, 15 into 10 150, 8 into 14 that is 112, 3 into 18 90 and the total of this is 524. So here we get the sigma fx even the n. Just keep into the formula divide by 70 and here the answer is 7.4857 we are just going to take the two digit after the point but as the third digit is 5 which will increase the value of 8 will be 49 if the same thing if you calculate in the shortcut method for sure your answer will be mesh. This is the same information which we did before. That is a continuous frequency. So here I am switching to the next question. Moving to the sixth one. The information of profit of 50 firm is given below. Find the mean profit. Here the profit is given and the frequency. So let us take first into the question. 4. 9, 18, 12 and 7. So after taking the frequency let us make the total of it is 50. As it, the information is a continuous we will solve in first the mid value that is 0 plus 7 divided by 2 here we will get the mid value 3.5. 7 plus 14 divided by 2 you will get 10.5. Again 14 plus 21 divided by 2 you will get 17.5 22.5 and here we get 31.5 so here you can see in the decimal we get the information of the mid value but still we can make a calculation so here we need in the direct method the multiplication of this two column to find out fx that is 4 into 3.5 you will get 14 9 into 10.5 you will get 94.5 18 into 17.5 you will get 315 12 into 22.5 you will get 294 7 into 31.5 that is 220.5 so get the total of this you will get 938 that is sigma fx just take into the equation formula for the mean sigma fx upon n 938 divided by 50 you will get the answer 18.76 if you same thing wants to calculate with the shortcut method that will also do i'll show you for this question so for question number six 
to find out in the shortcut method here i took the class and frequency from the question and the mid value in the mid value just make a correction here it is 24 not 22 so mid value is 24.5 and 31.5 so after finding mid value as the formula of mean in shortcut method is a plus sigma fd upon n into c so here we need the d for d x minus assume mean divided by the class length so here i am going to take assume mean as usual i am going to take the minimum value that is 3.5 and the class length here you can see there is a class length of 7 so first let's take the x that is 3.5 minus the assume mean 3.5 divide by 7 3 minus here this 2 will 0 divide by 7 obviously the answer remain 0 next I'll take 10.5 that is the x minus 3.5 which I have assumed divide by 7 here if you make the calculation you will find out the answer is 1 in the same way again we will take x that is 17.5 minus the assume mean 3.5 divide by the class length 7 you will get the answer 2 this is how just go with the remaining calculation here the answer will be 3 and 4 so after finding D we need FD column to find out sigma FD as per the formula so your frequency column will multiply with the column D 4 zeros are 0, 9 1s are 9, 18 2s are 36, 12 3s are 36, 7 4s are 28. Get the total of this column, you will get 109. So here assume mean which I assume is 3.5 plus sigma FD that is 109 and total of frequency which is denoted as N. 50 and the class length the distance of this class is 7 so first make the calculation of this much 3.5 plus here you will get 15.26 then add with 3.5 you will get 18.76 so that's what the final answer of the direct method as well as the shortcut method moving to the last question of this exercise 3.1 the distribution of demand of an item on different day is as follow. Find the mean demand. Here the class length class is given and the number of days. So here I took the information of question number 7 in the book. First we will find out the mean value. That is 5 plus 14 divided by 2. You will get 9.5. Same 15 plus 24 divided by 2. 19.5. And the remaining please continue in your calculator. And 72.0. The next thing we will do is the multiplication of frequency with the mid value. We will get 38, 331.5. 560.5924102670.20 and the total of this is 3600 that is sigma fx just take into the formula that is 3600 and the total of frequency 90 you will get the 40. So in the same way you can also do the shortcut method for sure your answer will be same.